What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back in the Train Loco vlog number three. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so we have for you guys our new gym here in Los Angeles. Okay, we showed you we showed you guys the other one, which was in downtown LA, but we just didn't like it. You know, the feeling wasn't good. It wasn't a good environment. So we switched over to the Mecca Gold Gym Venice. Um, as you can see, this place is absolutely awesome. It's about 20 minutes from where we live, and it's absolutely well worth the drive. Okay, they even have you know an outside area right here where you can train. Okay, just take a look at this. This is something you just don't see very often at gyms, okay? And this is something we're looking forward to taking advantage of once the weather gets really, really warm outside, okay? So that's one of the awesome things about this place. It just has so many machines and toys. It's like a playground, you know, for bodybuilding. Um, as you can see, I'm getting a little pump in right here. Just trying to soak up some vitamin D. Wink, wink. Um, but no, this place is awesome. I mean, it's like you got Lou Ferrigno, you know, training next to you. You have um, Dexter Jackson. Um, all these huge, you know, bodybuilders just like training in the same place, you know, and it's like, it's crazy just thinking about that, you know. I mean, I'm bigger than all of them, tell you the truth. I don't want to show them up, but I'm just kidding. But it's just an awesome environment, cool place, a lot of humble people. So check it out if you guys are in Venice. So we went to our first uh, Laker game here at Staples Center. If you guys haven't been here, um, this is LA Live, Nokia Center, ESPN Center. Um, it's freaking awesome. Um, and as you can see right here, as we enter the Staples Center, this place is like world class. I mean, it's it's an awesome stadium, awesome arena. Uh, they played the Trail Blazers and they got beat by 20 points, and that's just terrible. You know, no Kobe Bryant either, so you know that kind of ruined a little bit. But awesome experience. We had our buddies down from um, Santa Rosa, and that was great to be with them too. All right, so we had the DDT ladies come visit too. We started off our leg workout with some IHOP pancakes. And yes, you just saw that. We brought the Walden Farms with us, baby. We brought that. The pancakes are so freaking good, it's ridiculous. So if you guys have an IHOP near you guys, you know, load up on those cars before like a heavy leg workout and trust me, you guys will thank us later. As you can see, the DDT ladies right here, working on some glutes, getting some hip thrust in. Um, there's a trap bar deadlift here too at the gym, which is pretty awesome. Or it's actually a hexagonal bar. Um, it's a great, you know, workout too. It's really good on the lumbar spine. Um, it takes a lot of the, um, you know, wear and tear off the hips. So if you guys have something like that at your gym, definitely use it. And then right here they have a safety bar squat too, um, which is awesome because um, with Eric dealing with his shoulder injury, it takes a lot of the pressure off his anterior deltoid. Um, he doesn't have to have, you know, that external rotation with a normal uh, conventional squat. So, you know, it's, it's a really good, um, you know, piece of equipment, you know, for squatting and keeping the shoulders healthy. And it's something I'm looking forward to using, too, so I don't sit there and, uh, you know, get an overuse injury on my shoulders. And next clip. All right. So, you know, I've been, um, you know, tinkering left and right with my, um, my conservative, conservative, you know, rep maxes. And, you know, my strength is just hit like a wall right now, you know, um, you know, with my bench, squat and deadlifts. It's just, I can't really move up, you know, and, and a lot of it has to do with just the move here to LA, the transition, you know, the high stress levels, the lack of sleep. Um, and it's just, it's really taking a, a toll on me and, and, and Eric too, you know, so it's one of those things that you guys got to understand in life that you're not going to sit there and train your asses off every single day, you know, every single session. And it's just part of it. It's part of the game. You know, it's like, there's going to be things that come up in life that kind of slow you down, you know, slow your training down. Um, you're just going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to work around it. And you're going to have to find ways to, to overcome them, you know, and it's just one of those things that happens, okay? And it's nothing to sit there and fret about or get down about, but it's just part of the game and, you know, life comes in and sometimes it kicks you in the ass sometimes and, you know, the only thing you can do is just not give up and just keep grinding through it and that's what we're going to do. As you can see, after our training session, we went out here to Venice, you know, rode some of the beach cruisers, just enjoyed the weather and the environment out there. Um, you know, it's a really awesome place out there in Venice. You know, there's a lot going on out there. Um, so if you guys are in Los Angeles and, you know, I highly recommend going out to Venice, you know, just going to the Mecca, getting a workout in there. And then, you know, going to that place where you show, we showed the food right after we ate the post-workout. Um, it's called Firehouse. Um, and that place is awesome, too. It's got all the macros on there. It's got a bodybuilder's uh, menu on there. So, you know, check that place out. After that, you know, uh, Venice Beach is just in walking distance and, you know, go there and just enjoy yourselves, you know, have a good time out there. All right, so back into the training, um, you know, more of just like, you know, some fluffy work, some accessory work here. 
tried a new movement right here, um, some rows where I have my head against the, a bench, and it's really hitting my lats and rhomboids pretty good. So that's one that I'm going to start incorporating a little more. And then Eric right here, he's doing a lot of occlusion work right now just because, um, you know, his shoulder's still, you know, hurt, and he's trying to find the root of the problem. And, you know, he's seen some chiropractors and specialists, and, you know, it might be to, to that point where he's going to have to get an MRI because it might be structural uh, damage. So um, just doing a lot of occluded work. He's really killing it on his legs. He's brought his legs up a lot. So it's one of the positive things about it. That's another thing, too. You know. Sorry, guys, it cut out. But I was saying, you know, it's one of those things where you get injured. You don't sit there and complain about it. You know, you just sit there and you work around it. You know, you bring up another body part. And that's one of the things he's doing. You know, he's bringing up his legs because there's nothing much he can do about upper body. You know, all he can do is some occlusion work and, you know, pretty much keep the muscle that he has, you know. So uh, it's, it's frustrating, too, you know. But, it's, it's again, it's part of the iron game. Everybody goes through it. Everybody gets injuries. It's just all about how you deal with it, overcome it, and you move forward, you know. So... Uh, okay, so back here, um, like I said, this place is just like, a, it's like a playground, you know, like with these machines and all the equipment it has here. I mean, it has these awesome back uh, machines like hammer strength rows and all the top notch like equipment in there. So it's just, we're really looking forward to, you know, training here and making some great gains here as soon as we, you know, start catching up on sleep and get stress levels down a little bit. So. Um, as soon as that's taken care of first, um, you know, we're really going to just get after it and kill it and work on some areas that we need to bring up and, and just bring it, you know. So that's pretty much a wrap for this uh, Vlog 3. And right here, we met up to with some awesome people in L.A. We met up with um, the legend Tom Venuto. He's an awesome down-to-earth guy. And we met up with Chad Landers at Push Fitness in North Hollywood. Check him out. Peace, guys.